Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Bennett here. So welcome to uh, just a quick review video uh, for lesson five. So in this first example, and, and we're going to be doing polynomial operations. So I have two polynomial operations and we're going to add them together. So when you add polynomials together, you got to match up like terms. And we're going to start with the largest degree of each. So if you notice here, I have uh, x squared and an x squared term. So I'm going to pair them together. I can just, I can put them in parentheses. You don't need to, but I'm going to have 3x squared plus 4x squared. Okay, and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to say plus, and then I'm going to look to see other terms that I have in common now. Notice here I have an x term and I have an x term here. I'm going to do plus, and that's negative 7x plus negative 5x. Remember, if you really want to, subtracting is the same thing as adding a negative, adding a negative if you want to do that here. So those are my other two terms. And then finally, I look, I have two constant pieces here. And I'm going to say plus, and then I'm going to put 2, and then plus negative 3. You can always do addition. I can see I can do plus a negative. If you want to leave this as minus and say 2 minus 3, you can do that. So now, that we have all our like terms, let's go ahead and, and finish the problem. So 3 plus 4, that makes 7x squared. Okay, plus in red, if you have two negative numbers, treat them like addition and toss a negative sign on it. So uh, 7 plus 5 is 12, and that's going to be minus 12x. And then our last two terms here are 2 plus negative 3 or 2 minus 3, which is negative 1. And that's how you add polynomials. You can only add them together if they have the same variable to the same power. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.